Greetings, and Jonathan here from the Ultimate Diamond Information Site. <clears throat> and um, well, we put the, we want, I wanted to put this video together for you because we, um, we oftentimes we get diamonds in our laboratory, and you're going to see a lot of videos like this from time to time on our website. Uh, but we have two cushion cuts in here, and, um, and one of them just totally breaks all the rules that you generally see with regards to the subject of cushion modified brilliance. Okay, anybody who's doing research on cushion cut diamonds, <clears throat> you'll notice on GIA reports, a lot of them are described as either cushion brilliant or cushion modified brilliant. And um, through the videos that we've been able to show you, you'll see most of the cushion modified brilliance on the market. Um, have this you know crushed ice appearance uh, they they just a lot of them just have this it's a watery look crushed ice it, it it's it lacks brightness and contrast it lacks fire you know it's got some little sparkles going on in spotlighting but we're, we're going to take a look at that in a second but um, this video uh, you know we get emails from people all the time and they'll say you know find me a cushion brilliant don't I don't want a cushion modified brilliant well you know when people come to us for help generally they're looking for the most beautiful diamond possible within a given shape so and and that, and that includes cushions but um, you know sometimes people just uh, they get this mental uh, hijack <laughs> of what it says on a piece of paper and totally disregard what the diamond looks like and this in our opinion is such a huge mistake because you can't always go by the paper. I, if, if anything, if our videos have taught you anything, especially with cushions, is you can't rely on a lab report to judge the optics of a cushion cut. Okay. Now, right now, and uh, usually, generally, the cushion cuts that are highest in demand are either the old chunky faceted style that give off beautiful, bold, bright flashes, or um, or some of the more modern brilliant cuts, also with exceptional light performance. If you, if you browse our videos here on cushion cuts, you'll see them. So, in any case, the two diamonds in this video we're going to look at are two diamonds that on the GIA report are described as cushion modified brilliance. Both of them have uh, respectable depths uh, in the mid 60s. Both of them have tables in the mid 50s. You know, so the, the, the measurements on a GIA report look comparable. The polish and symmetry grading is, is all respectable polish and symmetry grading on these two diamonds. Uh, but uh, you know as I'm kind of giving a summary I'm going to shrink down on your screen here and I want you to take a look at these two diamonds side by side now <laughs> first of all the diamond that you see on your left is a diamond that is a it's a 180 it just came in here um, it's also an H colored cushion respectable table depth polish symmetry uh, combinations but look at the nasty crushed <laughs> I'm sorry to call it nasty. I'm sure there's some people who like that appearance. I don't. But this, look at the optics on that stone, and look at the optics on the diamond to the right of it. This is a night and day comparison. Okay? And I'll also have you know that the diamond on the left there, like I mentioned, is an H color. The diamond to the right of it is an I color. Yeah, 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 you heard me right. Now, I'm going to tell you, this kind of a comparison, when we show this to consumers, and we just ask the average layman standing in our store, uh, which of these two diamonds do you perceive as being the whiter diamond? Uh, 100 out of 100 people point to the diamond on the right, okay? Because cut quality alters our perception of diamond color. So that, that diamond faces up whiter, and as you can see in this video plainly, is also brighter. All right, and we, we have a video we're doing on this subject too, what alters our perception of diamond color, which will be in our color tutorial section. But this is a great demonstration of this very point, how cut quality can alter our perception of diamond color. So as we uh, go into, we're gonna go into the next lighting now, we're gonna look at sparkle scintillation. Okay, we have um, a special setup and lighting that we do f uh, to show off the sparkle. But again, look at the difference in the sparkle between these two diamonds. In the diamond on the left, you, got, you see you got little tiny, tiny pinpoints going on. Okay, so it's got some, it's got a little sparkle to it. It's not com a complete disaster. But look at the flashes of light coming out of this diamond on the, on the right, on this 161. It's an IVS2 that got here, cushion modified. Um, yeah, so 
And, uh, you know, okay, so there's your sparkle factor. Uh, again, a night and day difference. Um, now we're going to move into stronger spotlighting here and look at the elements of fire a little more intently. And, uh, you know, I, I don't have to say anything. This video should just speak volumes to you with regards to uh, appearance. So the point we want to drive home with these two diamonds in this short video is that just because the paper says cushion modified doesn't mean it's an optical disaster okay a lot of times in it, from people watching my the videos that we've produced here at the ultimate diamond information site um, people have b come to associate cushion modifieds with the crushed ice appearance okay I just want to set it straight that is not always the case and in this example clearly not the case so if you're out for the most beautiful diamond remember you can't always trust the paperwork all right and thank you for watching our clip on cushion modified brilliance i hope you enjoyed it